Welcome back to the Modern Woman Warrior Show. I'm Louisa Cake. This is Dinky. She is our Modern Woman Warrior Ankle Biter. <laughs> and I'm Amber Fight. This is a channel created by women for women and is centered on all things personal protection and self-defense. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for joining us. If you like what you see in here, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be informed every time we post a new video. This is the perfect time for you to make a commitment to yourself and your family to become competent to defend yourself and your loved ones. So if the worst case happens, your action can say to your attacker, wrong woman, wrong day. Today's episode is really important one. This episode teaches how to pull a pistol out of a holster quickly and safely. Let's take a quick commercial break to show our audience what we're teaching them to do. Throwing a pistol out of a holster can be dangerous if it's not done correctly. This is so true. The great thing about working on things like draw stroke or emergency reloads is that they can be done at home without ever firing a shot. But it is very important to do that home practice with a cleared pistol and no live ammunition in the same room that you're practicing in. So let's take a look at me as I do some dry fire practices at the range with the draw stroke. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. These are the steps in the five step draw stroke process. The first one, grip chest. The non-shooting hand is placed on the chest simultaneously as the shooting hand grabs the pistol. When your shooting hand grabs the pistol, it's really important to make sure your hand is as high up on the tang as you can get it so you don't have to adjust your grip. This is in one motion and it keeps the non-shooting hand out of the way so it does not get shot. Then you hear pull. The gun is pulled straight up out of the holster. The gun is not flipped by the wrist. Then you rotate. You rotate the gun into alignment with the target by dropping the elbow. The wrist should have very little flexing movement. Then you hear join or slap. Your support hand comes off the chest and joins or slaps your shooting hand, forming a perfect shooting grip. This is critical for accuracy and speed. Then you hear present and shoot. The gun is brought up to the eyes flat. Do not elevate or depress the muzzle by casting or bowling the pistol into alignment with your eyes and the target because this will cost you very valuable time. Remember, never dip your head to the gun. Always bring the gun to your eyes. Dry practice is really important. We are trying to create muscle memory so we can perform the draw stroke flawlessly under pressure. Now let's watch as I draw the pistol with each of the five steps of the draw stroke. Grip chest. Pull chest. Rotate, slap, extend, <laughs> grip chest, pull chest, rotate, slap, extend, <laughs> grip chest, slap, <laughs> draw. Finally, let's watch both Amber and me on a full speed draw stroke. Draw. Draw. Ready? Draw. Much better. Ready? Draw. Notice I am no longer counting each step. However, you can see I am doing each individual step. It just moves very smoothly and quickly from step to step once you have done it enough times. That was terrific. People need to understand that a quick, safe pistol draw is critically important in self-defense. For every second it takes to draw this pistol and fire a trained mm -hmm. shot, an attacker with an edged weapon can cover as much as 15, 15 feet. feet. I know. That's right. Even a sub one second draw stroke like we are demonstrating can still leave you behind the curve if someone is attacking you with a knife. That's why it is so important to practice situational awareness as well as have some solid empty hand fighting skills. Those skills can buy you that one second to gain the gun into the fight. Stay tuned in the coming weeks as we start a multi-part series on empty hand fighting. If you like what you've heard and saw today, hit the subscribe right button, here. drop us some comments, and give us a like. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>